I remember the shock, the numbness. I had really bad cancer. I can't even describe how horrifying that moment was when I had my hand on his chest and then there was just no more heartbeat. It's like a part dies of yourself. We were told that our boy had this disease and that it was most likely that he wouldn't live past the age of two. At two o'clock in the morning, they came in with the diagnosis that it was leukaemia. He came home. I cried because I missed him. I decided to take him into mum's room and cuddle him for two hours. I didn't want to celebrate the first birthday because I thought it's the only birthday he's going to have. Brady was at the hospital and I was at home. I was crying for him to come back. And the nurses would come and rub his belly before they'd leave their shift. He came home and he was dancing in the lounge room to You Make Loving Fun by Fleetwood Mac. No, nothing can prepare you for the moment when it happens. I remember he was just like in my arms after we'd been dancing and he was like, I'm your baby, I'm your baby. He actually had a catastrophic brain hemorrhage just a few minutes after he finished dancing. Very special kids have been amazing in our family's journey and have been our rock. I can't thank very special kids enough. That's what helps you you know, to, to get you through. It's been one of the most healing opportunities that we had. It was such a big part of our life and it was, um, it's the one place that gave me permission to, to rest. If I could have anything, it would be one more day, one more moment, one more minute, one more conversation. I'm missing really much. One more hug. Enjoy where you are right now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your children every day that you love them. At the end of the day, like that's what's what's most important.